Uhu. Huh? Ah! Hey guys, this is Jim, and welcome to episode two of Factorial. Our modded, modded. <laughs> Wow, guys, I'm so used to saying our modded Minecraft series of one sort of another that we're not playing Minecraft, are we? This is Factorial, and it's not modded, this one. <laughs> it's Vanilla Factorio, there we go. Ah, okay, guys, hope you enjoyed the first episode. I finished recording it a couple of hours ago, and uh, so I thought I'd start on the second one before you get to see the first one. I uh, haven't done anything since last time except added another steam engine down just to increase our power a bit. Uh, apparently with the changes to the boilers here, uh, one boiler can power two steam engines. So there you go. <laughs> we'll try and maintain that ratio. Alright, where are we up to? We need to continue our automation. These guys, well look, they're out of fuel. They need coal. So we need to give them some coal. Now we've got plenty of coal here all backing up. So what we're going to do is make use of these guys, the splitters. So splits incoming transport belts cargo one to one. So let's make, actually we'll make a few of those because we're going to need a few of those. Uh, also today we've got to get, we've got to get more automation. We're doing a lot of manual crafting of inserters, belts, the splitters, uh, power poles, all these other bits and pieces that we sort of need lots of. So we're going to make sure we can get those automatically crafting today. Uh, let's get rid of that one, that one, and that one. So what we'll do, we'll put this guy down there. And this guy will basically split whatever comes in on the belt into it 50-50. Uh, so we'll have this guy go to there so they continue on to the power and then these guys come up here. So then we can put some more, uh, probably yeah, these belts here, so we'll put another splitter maybe there and then another belt there like that. Alright, now of course the, uh, the inserters here, well these guys are taking things out and putting them into here, so we need to get this coal into the here, so for that we're going to use some long-handed inserters something else we probably want to get crafting automatically. Uh, let's see, when we put one maybe there, like that. So the long-armed guys can reach across all the way over to here and then put things in there. So that's very handy. Uh, now we have a problem, of course, if we need to put one here, then there goes the power and the inserters have no longer got power. Uh -huh. <laughs> if we had a power pole, maybe here, that's not going to reach. So that could be a problem. So what else we're going to need now, I think, are some of these underground belts. Let's make a few of those guys. And we might have to do some little wangling finagling here. So if we break you and you, put you maybe there. This guy there. So then we can break this and this. Hmm, are we going to be able to wangle this? Can we put you there to there. Now will this guy, this inserter, will he take from this to be able to put coal in? Let's take that out. And yes he can. Very good. So that means we can put then a power pole there. Aha! <laughs> right, bit of fiddleiness, but uh, we can get better power poles soon, as soon as we reach search them and get some other things that we're going to need to have. So I'll get all those set up as well now. And I'll do the same thing basically over here with the copper, put in the splitters and the coal, so we get the coal feeding in to these guys as well. Ooh, I just had some research complete, a fluid handling. Next up though, I want to get tool belt. So this adds extra, 10 extra slots to your quick bar. Aha, uh -huh, we definitely want that, however that's going to... Uh, that needs the green science packs. Oh, we may not be able to do that one just yet until we get those set up. Um, 
What else? I think this is the only one left. The uh, military. Let's get this. More effective means to defend yourself and your factory. Oh, yes. We definitely want this. Mm, Submachine gun. Shotgun. <laughs> yes. Let's do that one, I reckon. Okay. We need to do a little bit of a clean up here. Now, we're having a bit of a backing up here of our red science packs. So, it is time to put in some more labs. Uh, but I might shift these guys. I think we're going to have a bit of a rearrange here. Uh, let's get that. Oh, and you see how the inserter put things on the ground there? Uh, so we can press F to pick those up. Get that, get the gear wheel, get rid of you, and pick up you. It's also handy if you suddenly realise, oh, I haven't got enough iron plates, you can sort of press F and run along the belts there, and you'll pick up whatever is on the belt as well, which is pretty handy. So we want to then get these guys. I think what we'll do is get iron and copper all sort of traveling up in this direction up here and then we'll get a lot of auto crafting happening around that so now you also notice here now as these uh, these inserters put things on the belts they put them on the far side of the belt the these inserters can things putting on here these can take them from any side but when they drop them off onto the belts they put them on the far side so these are all just on one side we're wasting half a belt there so we might see if we can just balance that out a little bit. Ooh, there we go. And that's opened up. Ooh, heavy armor. Ooh, we haven't made any armor either. Yes. Research heavy armor. Yes, please. <laughs> We're going to need it soon. Uh, okay, so we want to balance these belts, basically. So if we have, uh, let's say, iron going up about here, here. So if we send our iron up there and maybe our copper up next to it, up there... Um, yeah, we probably want to allow for some expansion to have two bits of copper there, to iron. So, but in the meantime, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. See, there's lots of thinking through here. Uh, we want to balance these belts. So, we want a splitter. Splitter, splitter, splitter. There we are. You can go there. And let's see. If we put this guy here coming out there, so they go on there, but if we rotate this guy there and merge them into there like that, aha, so then we've got them being filled out and balancing the belt a bit. Cool, that's one way to use the splitter, and we'll do the same for the copper here. Okay, so they're both balanced up now. Hmm, we're not use, making any red things anymore, so we might put that first, back. put that back here, so we want the iron. And the iron gears and the thingies. <laughs> ah, the thingies, yes. The red guys. Those thingies. There. Oop, there we are. Okay, I'll get that set up again. Okay, I've got those shifted now and doubled up a bit, so we can then just do that. And then our con copper continue on up that way. Uh, and we definitely need to get some crafting happening getting a bit tired of manually crafting all this stuff uh, and then we'll get the iron across here as well so Whoop. yes good <laughs> uh, actually we can get this splitter happening that we haven't got a splitter ah, okay for now that'll do <laughs> uh, and then we'll get these guys oh I've got to put the uh, the output in there so to pick up those guys and then back down here like so excellent very good. Like that, and like that. There we go. All happy. <laughs> Alright, what's next? Oh, I know what's next. I just remembered. <laughs> okay. We need to get a radar. So, let's start making you. When we look at our map here, there's a, there's a sort of white, whitish big square there, and everything beyond it is a bit sort of grey and blurry. Grey? Dark. That's probably a better word, isn't it? So we have a certain reach around us that will show, in our in the range of the player there, a bit more detail about the things that are around us, uh, and there's not much showing up beyond that. So we want to have a radar in place to help us make sure that when those biters come after us, all the aliens, the locals, that uh, yeah, that we're prepared. So let's put a radar uh, there. Whoop. There. There we go. But he needs some power as well. Now, radars use a lot of power. A lot. They are quite expensive. Now that that's going. 
Yeah, oh, look, so we've got one radar using about 299 kilowatts and eight mining drills using 448. We're okay with our production for the moment. We are going to have to expand that soon, though, I think. So, let's see, is the radar giving us anything extra yet? Mm, not yet. Hmm, we'll keep an eye open. In fact, before we continue with that, let's just make some weapons. <laughs> uh, so we'll make some armor, make one of you, and that will go, once it's finished crafting, down, down the bottom right here in our armor slot. Uh, we will make a submachine gun. Yes, please. <laughs> and that should hopefully then be put in one into one of the gun slots down there. And while we're doing that, we also better make a shotty, make a shotgun as well. So we haven't really fired a weapon yet. We're very passive. Ooh, hang on a minute. I just noticed something on the map too, which we will look at shortly. Uh, we will need some shotgun shells, and we'll get some more ammo as well. Quite a bit of ammo, but that's okay. Ooh, it's taking a while, that shotgun. <laughs> so we'll probably copy half of the ammo from the pistol there to the submachine gun, because they both require the same ammo, and the shotgun shells are now going there for the shotgun. Right, what can we shoot? <laughs> well, the thing I noticed on the map is these red dots right up the top up here, so our radar is now in range to be able to pick those up. So it's, they're a fair way away, but they're aliens. Ooh, yes, ooh, yes. Yes, if I put my mouse over it, you can see on the right over there, just under our mini-map, uh, splitter, spitter, spawner, Small biter, biter spawner. Yeah, all right. We well, if we feel like being suicidal, we might go up and have a look at that a bit later. <laughs> uh, but we want to shoot something now. Let's shoot a tree. Because we haven't got anything else to shoot, so why not shoot a tree? Uh, hello, Mr. Tree. You are nice and big. So we've got our pistol, and then we need to. <laughs> There we are. We shot a tree with our pistol. <laughs> hmm, that was quite, quite quiet, wasn't it? How about with our submachine gun now? What about this guy? <laughs> That's a bit nicer. Probably churns through the ammo a bit more too. And now how about our shoddy? Hang on, what about our sounds? It's a bit quiet. We want to have them nice and loud, don't we guys? Nice and loud. Uh, so I've got the master volume turned down a bit. Hmm... Game effects, baby. Let's bump that up. Get up and see how that goes. Is that now increase our sound? Uh, Maybe a little bit. <laughs> uh, shoddy, shoddy. Yeah, that's what we like to see. <laughs> Oop, stump. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, fun, fun. So there is a bit of a reload time there with the with the shotgun, um, but uh, yeah, as soon as the aliens start arriving, then uh, we're, we're all good. <laughs> ah, fun. All right, now we want to craft some essentials automatically. I'm, you know, I had to wait a while there while I crafted up some uh, new belts and inserters and things. So we're going to need belts, splitters, underground belts, inserters, long arm inserters, assembly machines, lights. We want to have plenty of those. Uh, various other bits and pieces. Now, some of the recipes for those. Uh, let's see. Things like, well, they're just iron, gears, iron, <laughs> electronic circuits. That's something we're going to need, I think, to craft automatically as well. So we might do that next. Let's see, to mark, make an electronic circuit, uh, we'll line it up here, we'll try and keep things nice and neat. So we're going to need that. To make an electronic circuit, we need iron plates and copper cable. Now, copper cable we make just with copper plates. So, now two copper cable in half a second in one assembly machine with one copper plate. Now, an electronic circuit takes half a second, but it needs three copper cables, not two, three, and an iron plate. So, let's see, if we get another assembly machine, actually, we'll get two. We'll put one there, and one there. And these both will make uh, the 
copper cable so we can copy our settings there by doing if I remember the key shift right click shift left, left click will copy the recipe over so then we'll need some inserters you and you so we're going to put both of these into here and then we'll get another one uh, here and then this guy seeing we're going to have this will make four and this will no need blah 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 <laughs> Ah, uh, I think I know what I'm doing, guys. Honest. Honest. <laughs> yes, it's, it's a bit of math. A bit of math involved. Maths, math. Uh, copy you again to there. No. Hang on. You to there. <laughs> and you to there. Okay. Uh, so we need to get iron into you. Yeah. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Honest. I swear. <laughs> okay. I do know what I'm doing, except I just went and moved it all. <laughs> so, with these three going full, at full speed, at current full speed, we'll get six copper coils there in half a second. And these guys here, these two, need a total of six. And in half a second, then they'll be able to make the, uh, the green circuits there. Very good. So there's the maths. <laughs> Does that make sense? Uh, okay. So we're just basically trying to optimise things a bit. That's all, guys. Um, you don't have to optimise things, of course. I'm not really going for optimization in this series. We're sort of spreading things out and just doing things as we need them. Uh, and we need... Oh, you need one there. Or, and see, we're out of splitters. <laughs> Not splitters, belts. Yes. Right. Okay, and then you are facing there. So then you need that, and you guys need that. So we need that to go with that. There, there, and there. You guys don't have power, so we'll put a power pole. There, there, and... Oops. There. And we need some lights, because it's getting dark. So we'll put one there. And one down... Uh, that'll do, for now. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Alright, and we have green circuits. Basically, that's what it boils down to. We now have green circuits, except for this guy, because he needs some more belts. <sighs> so we need to make some more belts. Manual, click, click, click. Okay. So then we'll can put our belts on the line here, and they can then join on with our little, uh, our little supply chain here, I guess you could call it. Now that's in the way, so let's get an underground belt, which we haven't got any of those either. Ugh. There we go. <laughs> uh, right, yes, so four, two, blah, blah. There we go. Okay, that's better. <laughs> oh, and we should balance those as well, so we need a splitter to get you like so. There. Another one of you there, like that. Aha! Right. Okay, so there's the process for that. Now, now what are we going to make? Alright, for inserters, we need to again make some gears. And the inserter itself needs the gear and an iron plate. So really iron is all we need for these guys. Uh, oop, and it's getting dark, so let's put out a light. There we go. Or maybe, yes, there we go. Uh, and then we can just... Actually, move the light. <laughs> there. And we'll put the inserter here in the middle, like that. And then iron into you. And, oh, I'm out of inserters. There you go. <laughs> We're about to make in auto inserters automatically. Uh, you into there. Okay. So, now let's make a chest. Uh, we haven't got steel chests yet. So we'll just make a regular old... Actually, let's cancel those. Just make the chest put you there, just there, just like that, and then we'll get another inserter here, dang, done, okay, good. So what we can do, we can restrict the amount of stuff that goes into a chest, you just click on this, and then click to there, and then you'll only get two stacks worth, uh, but I think with the belts, we want to just fill up that chest with whatever we can make, and we'll get a power pole, uh, there. there we are. Alright, we should start now getting belts crafted automatically. And there we are. Excellent. So now we don't have to worry about crafting it. We've just got a little chest we can come up here and pick them up, basically. Which is good. Makes it a lot easier for us. So we're going to need next underground belts. Uh, so we could probably then just steal some of those for the underground belts, couldn't we? Basically just put a little 
inserter to move it across to another assembly machine here. Uh, yeah, I think we'll do that. And there we are. So we produce two belts at a time. This recipe gives us two. So these guys will just split it 50-50. And then we'll make these guys here and get them coming out here. Now I've limited these to about there. I don't think we need to fill up this whole chest with underground belts. Ooh, let's take those. Oh yes, more of those. Good. <laughs> um, so yeah, when this fills up, uh, this guy will stop producing more and then all the belts will go into here. Very good. Okay, next. Next we want to make some splitters. So splitters are a little bit more expensive. Uh, and yeah, they take the electronic circuits and they're going to take some transport belts as well. So rather than pilfering these transport belts, we might just set up another pair of these assembly machines to make these and use them specifically for the splitters. That might be the easiest, but we're also going to need to get the green circuits across here as well because they need the green circuits and they also need assembly the other assembly machine the next tier up assembly machine 2 because they've got three ingredients not two these uh, assembly machines can only do two two uh, ingredients up to two ingredients like that one. so all right we need to get these guys across there and get these other things set up okay got those set up so i've got the gear wheels going into here to make these belts again uh, but they're being fed directly into this one here to make the splitters. Cool. Alright, but we need the green circuits. Now, rather than just running a belt all the way along there, we might just use the old underground belts and, and then have them go as far as they can. Whoops, let me hit a power pole. <laughs> uh, we'll put you there. Uh, no, we'll put you... Uh, we probably only need to go to about there. There and there, and then get another power pole again. There. That should cover everything. Okay, good. And he's off and running. And crafting, excellent. We'll put down the chest there, and with just a another insert up there. Alright, how many of these? Probably want a lot of these too. We'll do that. Good, done. <laughs> Alright, we've got a good supply here. This one's got quite a few of those. Grab all those. Grab all you two. Yeah. Cool. All right. We're next up. Splitters. We need to get splitters auto crafting, and they take plates, gear wheels, and circuits as well. Okay. Good. Okay. So I've got the gear wheels being crafted in this guy, and then he'll send those through to this guy once I give him power, and then in here we'll make then the inserters like so and he also needs the iron the uh, uh, electronic circuits which are like there <laughs> there right good so now he's crafting those he needs power to get his gear wheels so there like that and then we can put these guys in a chest as well uh, which we can't make. We can only make a wooden chest. <gasps> oh, I'm out of iron, aren't I? Oh, let's do this. Do 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 do. Pick up all that iron. <laughs> ah, it'll fill up, fill up again soon. So and make actually we'll make five of those. Stock up a bit, and then grab you and put you uh, there. There we are. <laughs> there. Okay, and then that. Bang, bang, done. Inserters being done. All right, good. Hmm, and now we start hitting some bottlenecks. So these guys all down here need iron, um, but not very much iron is making its way down here. So this guy's sitting idle. These guys are all idle because we're not getting enough iron. So uh, now <laughs> it's a, about identifying all the bottlenecks and expanding your system as you go. So. We're going to need some more mining drills and get some more iron smelted up, I think. So we're going to have to put in place some more furnaces, get some more coal being delivered, and just expand our operation here, I think, with our iron mining. Ah! We're under attack, guys! We're under attack! Ah! Something's... See down the bottom? Oh, there's a... There's a... Ah! Ugh, ugh. Oh! Oh, there's another one! Up oh, there! Hey, what's he doing? Yeah. Oh, and he did he wreck our belt? Look at this. So these have a health bar, like we saw earlier with the trees. 
Uh, we need to repair that, so let's uh, make a few repair kits there. There's no others on the map, is there? No, that's fading away, so... Oh! 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 No, wait, is there another attack? No? No. It's just the other one finishing up, is it? But just a bit slow for it to catch up. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, boy. I didn't think they'd come after us this early. There we are. We've repaired that. Uh, but I think this belt here that was that was here is now dead. So let's, uh, yeah, get that going again. Hmm, okay. Well, we haven't really protected ourselves at all here, guys. Could be time to make some... Some gun turrets and some walls. We definitely want to start putting some walls around the place and getting things protected, don't we? Mmm, gun turrets. I think that's something else we're going to want to auto-craft. Gear wheels, copper plates, iron plates, and the stone walls there. They need stone bricks, so we haven't really touched our stone supply much so far. Um, okay, let's actually... Before we start getting more iron, I think that's probably what we should set up. So let's set up some auto crafting to get these gun turrets happening. Oh, except I've realised we're out of time, guys. We've already been going <laughs> quite a while. Uh, so next episode we'll get our defences ready and, uh, yeah, start protecting ourselves from those nasty aliens. Yes. We don't want them wrecking our stuff. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it, guys, and we'll see you in the next episode.